Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft survival let's play series. Uh, what did I just? Okay. Um, apparently, fun fact, once a stone has a silverfish in it, it breaks um, instantly. It used to break pretty quickly with the fist, but definitely not instantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an infestation. Okay. Okay, this is a little bit dangerous with all this lava around. Okay. Okay. I think we, um, I think we solved the problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, we're picking up exactly from where we left off in the last episode. The only thing that I did was cover up this lava here so I could have my bed, my crafting table, and my chest with my loot in it. But in this episode, I need to get back to base because I need some supplies for the Ender Dragon fight, which will happen in the next episode, episode 50. So I need to get back home. And for that, I'm thinking to make another portal and make another tunnel straight from here to home. So let's go ahead and do that. What I need is obsidian and I know there's a cave around here somewhere, most likely. Uh, well, I know there's a cave. I definitely know there's a ravine. Um, but I don't know where there's lava. I just found a minecart with chests here and it had some pretty okay good stuff. Not the best stuff, but it had some stuff in it. I'm just searching for some gravel so I can get the flint. Oh, that's lava. Okay, sweet. Nice. Now, is that gravel? Oh, there's gravel there as well. This is perfect. And there's redstone. What Y level is this? 14. Diamond potential. All right, let me get some flint. Oh, that's flint. Got it. Perfect. I got the iron from the minecart with chest, so that is the flint and steel right there. Sweet. There's actually already obsidian here, so that's perfect. I don't. I kind of don't want to ruin it, but at the same time, yeah, I also want to be safe. But I think I'm just gonna cover this up so it don't fall into the lava. And you know what? The water can stay there. So I'm gonna get 10 obsidian. I need 10 obsidian for this. So yeah, that's why I want the water to stay there. I'm gonna get 10 obsidian and we'll be right back. Plus the water makes obsidian go straight to me. Most of the time apparently. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I have 18 obsidian here. I took eight extra because I want to make some ender chests and I don't know how much I have at home and it was pretty easy to get. So I decided to get some extra. Now I think we just gotta head back to the portal. And for that, I think I need to go the same way that I came from. Otherwise I'm gonna get lost. So I'll meet you back at the end portal. Yep, right down here. Perfect. I remembered. Yeah. All right. Um, where should we put this portal? It's not going to be symmetrical at all, unless we cover that obsidian up. Uh, sorry, lava. Yeah, let's cover this lava up. And let's break that. And let's, let's put the portal right here, just because we can. So obsidian, 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 obsidian. That should do the trick. Let's just cover the corners just to make it look a little bit better. And flint and steel. Let's head through the nether and hope it is a safe space or a place to go. Do I want anything from this chest at all? Um, yeah, do I want any of these? I don't really think I would want any of these enchanted books with me. I do want the books. I might as well take everything. I can have it in my inventory, so I might as well take it with me. Um, yeah, except for the eye pickets. Maybe it's a good idea to have an eye pickets here. And some cobblestone. You never know. Alright, let's head through. And hope that this place is a good place to spawn. Um Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's not the worst. <laughs> it's not the worst at all. Okay, where are we? 
Uh, minus 215. Okay, so we definitely need to get up. The coordinates we want to get to is minus 22, uh, 96, 10. So we're basically here. We just need to go up in this direction, actually. So I think what we will be doing is head up using cobblestone till we reach the top up there. I'm going to hit the lava, aren't I? I don't want to fall here. That would be bad. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, huh. Okay. That's dangerous work. Okay, this is interesting. 96, now we just gotta go in this direction. Actually, it's not that far at all. And we are at the portal. That wasn't far at all, actually. That. That was pretty good. All right, that that's pretty good. Let's head through. Let me get a sign. Let me empty my inventory. And wow, to be honest, that was way quicker than I had thought. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay then. Let me empty my inventory and let me get a sign. Alright, so to be honest with you, I had not planned this to be so quickly. That that was done pretty fast, so I think that we should prepare for episode 50 so we can literally just jump down into the portal and get going with it. So I think, first of all, I'm going to grab a sign, like I said, because I don't want to forget that. I want to make two ender chests, actually. Thinking about it, I think I want three in the chest because I want one with me. So let's make some eyes of Ender right here. Do do, do like that. Do I have a crafting table in here? No, I do not. And next I have Ender, and turns out I have plenty of obsidian, so this should be doable. Oh yeah, it is. It's just doable. Three in the chests right there. So I'm gonna place one here. Now I cannot pick these up because I don't have a Silk Touch pickaxe yet. But I think I've got to place mine right here next to my bed. That looks very fancy. Then we're going to take one with us to the... Oh, I have an extra compass. To the stronghold, and then I'm just going to be carrying one around with me as an extra backpack. At least until I can get a Silk Touch uh, pickaxe. Do I have a Silk Touch book at the grinder, though? I might have to go take a look. But what else do we want for this fight? I would like, I don't need another bow. It's fine, I can go with this bow. It doesn't have infinity, but it's fine. Which means I could use some more arrows for it. And I'm definitely gonna be bringing some potions as well. Yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> a lot of arrows. I'm definitely gonna bring some potions as well. Do I have, uh, how is it you make the slow phantom membrane? I need phantom membrane for slow falling potions. I want, I don't expect the end of Dragon Fight to be more than 16 minutes, so one set of each potion should be plenty. So let's get, do I have any water bottles? Okay, wait, what do I have already? Speed, strength, fire resistance, night vision, water breathing, instant health, weakness. So it's basically just some slow falling potions I think we need to make. Pretty sure this makes slow falling potions. And we're just going to make the drinking variant because that's going to be the easiest. Uh, I don't think, to be honest, there's anything else that we want, that I want to bring with me. Yeah, I honestly don't think so. And slow falling push. It's 4, 8, 12 minutes. Mm, it should be enough. It should be enough. 
Uh, also with my armor here, we should be good. Um, night vision, not gonna bring night vision. Speed, I don't think speed will be necessary at all. Strength could be a good thing to have. Let's bring two of those. Fire resistance is irrelevant. Instant health potions, I think I want some of those. As well as regeneration, but I don't want the drinking variety. I want the splash variety. So let's make those real quick. And I think honestly, we are ready for this. I think we are ready. Extra food might be a good idea. Um, yeah, let's just grab that and put that in there too. Uh, regen. It's just nice to have, just in case we get really low for some reason. It's nice to have. Let's use the portal that we just made, to be honest. Do I have any rails? Because we could really quickly convert it into a rail system. I don't have that many, but we could make it into a rail system real quick. Let's do that, because I don't think this episode is very long. So let's do that, shall we? And I need the redstone, of course. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, power rails, I don't know how many we'll need. I'm hoping no more than that, but let's see. And then normal rails, we're gonna need a ton. So let's just get... I mean, we have plenty of iron, so... <laughs> Yeah, we we don't need to we don't need to be worried about losing iron for this. In fact, I'm gonna bring all of that with me just in case. Do I need more gold with me? Uh, grab some more gold blocks. All right, let's head through the portal once again, and let's make the minecart. Let's actually see how much iron is in here now. Cool to check. Yep, there is a lot. We don't need to worry about iron ever again. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> all right, head through, and let's make the mine rail. Minecraft system thing. All right, so first off, we need a small station. So first off, I'm gonna make this and say stronghold. I'm actually going to put that right here. Add a wooden button to power it. Then I think we need to go, I think it's 16 you can go without needing a power rail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Boom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Boom. Um, I need some more netherrack as well, I think. Let me actually make this place a little bit bigger. I, of course, also need some redstone torches, because otherwise I will not be able to power the golden rails. So let's get those made up as well. And just gonna poke a hole, put that there, go over here, make a roof so we don't get shot by gas in the middle of this process, and make a hole, get out, do that, put that back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and that hole. And I'm just gonna speed this process up. So that but first, we need to see if this works. I think this could work. Yeah, 16 is a nice distance to L. And L. Yeah, might want to do that. <laughs> uh, add that there and here. All right. Yes, this will work, I think. Yes, 16 is just fine. With a better takeoff, it is perfectly fine. Oh no, how am I gonna... Yep. <gasps> oh. I knew something like that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Good thing I didn't fall in the lava though. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna get back up and uh, I'll be right back. Actually, I think I might dig up instead. So I don't have an ugly pillar in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, let us continue where we left off. I'm going to speed this up and I will be right back once we're at the other portal. Alright, this bit is not so secure at all, but let's just hope we go fast enough 
so that we don't need to uh, worry about a gas shooting us. <laughs> now I don't know how well this is going to work, but um, we are certainly gonna try it. That did not work as intended. Can I just put it there? Nope. But I can put it right here. Uh -huh. So yeah, I just need to go ahead and activate all these power rails and then we will take a ride back. Uh, eh. So need to make it power this and then just eh. Okay. Yes, let me power all of these and I will be right back once again. And we are back at home station. <laughs> okay, let's hope this works. Um, I'm a little bit afraid that the distance when the, the minecart goes up from the portal of the stronghold, that there is too much space between the power reels, but let's see. Hop in and let's take a look. All right, so, so far, so good. We're moving at a decent speed. Pretty good, actually. And now the interesting bit is going to be going back home. Whee! Okay, this bit works perfectly. Now, before we go into the portal, I want to try and go back home. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, dear. It struggles. It is struggling. It can just barely make it. Yeah, I think I might need to space those out a bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more power reels, and yeah, I'm gonna need to put them either every other or make it only two rails in between each other. I think that will work. But yeah, let me just go back and do that. And there we go. This should do it. Let's ride back and let's try it back up and then go back down. All right. Go all the way over to the wall. Thank you. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Much, much smoother now. Way smoother. And it makes that just fine. Perfect. Mission successful. Let's head back, let's put uh, the ender chest in there, in the stronghold, and we will be ready for next episode, aka fighting the ender dragon. To be honest, it's so much fun to have built one of these and then just ride back and forth on it. <laughs> There we go. All right, let's head through and set up the ender chest. And here we are at the stronghold. I am going to... Okay, I'm not going to scrap that just yet. I'm going to remove this, put that there, and then put an ender chest right here. And move that over and move that over. Sweet. I'll just add those two. Perfect. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. In the next one, we will be fighting the Ender Dragon. Episode 50, Ender Dragon fight. We are finally here. Time to challenge this beast. But anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And enable those notifications. And if you want to support me even further, check out my Patreon page. Link down below in the description. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch. Join my Discord server to join the community. And that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.